Hello, this video will show you how to create and modify custom report layouts in Business Central. So by default, a report will have a built-in report layout, which can either be an RDLC report or a Word report layout, or both. You can't modify built-in layouts. However, you can create your own layouts that enable you to change the appearance of a report when it is viewed, printed, or saved. You can create multiple custom report layouts for the same report and then switch the layout that is used by the report as needed. So let's get in and take a look here. So we're going to go into report selections. And report layout selections is where we want to go. And this shows us all of the uh, available report layout selections inside of Business Central. We're going to go ahead and modify the uh, sales uh, confirmation report. But also note while you're in here, uh, the company that I'm logged in as. So in my instance, right, I can have multiple companies. Uh, right now I'm in Cronus. So uh, I can uh, control those layouts by company here if I'd like as well. So let's go in and we're going to look for my report. Uh, I could search by name, but I knew the report by the number. And this is the sales confirmation report. Now, once we're on here, uh, we can come in uh, uh, to actions. We need to go to custom layouts. And the custom layouts will show us all the report versions available for that report number. Uh, and by default, it's using uh, this US uh, sales order blue. So we're going to use this report. And I can't modify the built in report. So we're going to make a copy of it first. So we can go to uh, process and copy. And now that I have uh, a copy of this report, we're going to download it and begin to work on it. And so to download it, we can go to layout and uh, we will export the layout. And we'll go ahead and open that report up. So once uh, it's open, you notice we are in Word here to modify uh, this version of the report. There's a couple tricks here uh, that will help modifying these reports uh, much easier. Uh, the first is we need to make sure uh, that you have the developer tab here in Word. So to do that, you can come over to File, go down to Options, and in here we're going to want to look at um, Custom Ribbon. And over here on the left, Let's look at this by all tabs. And under main tabs, you should see uh, this uh, developer tab here. And then you can decide where you want to insert it uh, over here on the right and then just simply add. So what that now uh, allows for is this uh, developer tab allows us to get to the different fields, right, related to this particular report. And so we can go ahead and click on the Excel, XML mapping pane, select the correct XML part. To do that, we select uh, down here, we can see the report number. And now we can see all the fields that are related to our report over here. So a few tricks in working with uh, these reports is uh, word reports are built on tables and sometimes these tables aren't uh, very forgiving or easy to work with. So the first thing I like to do here is uh, to make things easier, I'll come into the borders button here and view grid lines. And when we do this um, and when we view in grid lines here, now I can see uh, all the different areas of the report. And so now it makes it much more easier for me to uh, insert and remove uh, fields. And so once we're in the report, now you can start uh, modifying uh, uh, these particular layouts. And the first might be, you know, relating these fields back to um, the uh, base report. So, you know, what is really customer address and what really is ship to address? So I always recommend uh, generating a copy of that report 
to begin with so that you can look at what the data looks like and the finished product. So let's go ahead and do that. So to take a look at that report, let's go back to the report layout selection. And you can actually run uh, the report right from here. So you don't have to dive back into the application. And so you can come in and we can run pro, uh, go in the process here and run report. Uh, you need to have a report number handy. Uh, I happen to have one here, so I'm going to go ahead and paste that in there. And now I can go ahead and I can run that to preview. So now I can look at that data. So if we were looking at that report uh, compared to the one that we're going to modify, right, uh, we can take a look here. And we'll just use uh, uh, this left this left side is an example. So you can see here, right, as the report starts to fill in, uh, Alpine Ski House, so that's customer address one, and the name or contact is address two. And the way the reports work is, um, these are kind of like dynamic fields in the report itself. And what it's looking for is kind of some logic uh, to come up with how to, um, what information to display. So as an example, if there was no contact here, there wouldn't be a blank space here. It would actually tighten up your address block. So uh, I know here that uh, if I wanted to uh, maybe remove a few of these fields uh, to make my uh, report a little tighter and, and uh, shorten the distance between uh, these fields, we could uh, take out some of these address fields that we may never uh, use. In this case here, we're just going to come into the report and I want to add a field over here. I've got this uh, extra space on the header and I'd like to add some more information in there. So let's uh, select a field and some data to put in there and then we'll go ahead and take a look at the report. What might be helpful here is maybe have the uh, bill to customer uh, number on the report. So to go ahead and add that information in here, Let's go ahead and select inside the field. And the first is we need to add the label. So uh, this is the friendly label, right? You see on the form and so we'll come up here and I happen to know that this is like the customer uh, or the bill to customer number label. And here we have it uh, in our data set. You can select it, right click, and then we can insert that as plain text. And so there we go. And then the next, uh, we want to go ahead and insert the actual bill to customer number. So let's uh, select where we like uh, that to be inserted to. And we do the same thing here with the bill to number. And so now we've got both the uh, label and the, the data field. And here, just like everywhere else in Word, uh, if you'd like to uh, look at uh, the format, you can see up here, this is what uh, this report's formatted in, so maybe we like this uh, this label uh, to be the same, and so we'll 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 size that appropriately, and we'll uh, figure out here uh, what the font type and size is here, and these are the same, and so now uh, we've got this uh, report formatted. Uh, I can go ahead and save it, and we're going to close it, and then let's go ahead and load that report. Uh, back into Business Central. And so to do that, uh, we're going to come back into our report. And here is the copy, the one that we want to overwrite. And so we'll I'll select that. And let's go to Layout and Import Layout. And we can select that. And I know that this will be in the list of my uh, downloads. Here's that report. And now that that report's uh, loaded, we can go ahead and process it and look at it. So we can go to process and run report. And we'll have to put our report number back in and hit preview. All right. And so here's the report uploaded and here's that bill to uh, customer number and the bill to uh, customer number uh, data field itself here in the report. So that's a little about uh, how to uh, work with Word reports um, from Business Central and how you can upload your own custom formats. And to make sure that this report is the one that uh, is used every time 
uh, a sales confirmation is printed, uh, you just come back to your report layout selection screen and where it says custom layout description, you click in there and come over to the ellipse. And here we can see here's that copy of the report. So we'll go ahead and select that. And going forward, when we run the sales confirmation report, uh, this is the custom layout that will be used. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you found this video useful. We'll see you again soon with another Business Central video. In the meantime, please contact us if you'd like to learn more about Business Central. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up. And if it's your first time, click that subscription button to stay current on all our content. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.